Ajá. Ya están viendo cómo boicotear el examen, vea. Ya lo vi. No, hombre, bichos, no sean así. So, I am back. Okay. Can you listen to me? Yes, no. Dice, yo ahí mandé lo mío del chat. Ok, ahorita. Solo que allí donde dice, no, es, era on, pero me lo corrigió el autocorrector. Oh, ok, I will check it right now. Ahorita regreso. Okay. I will check right now. Let me see. I have the chat. It says, on. The Chinese restaurant is on Maple Street. The swimming pool is in Maple Street. Next to the movie theater is next to next to the parking lot. Next to the parking lot. Ahí le pusiste lot. next to parking to. Is next to the parking lot. Aquí. Next ah, to yes. the Parking, the parking lot. The parking lot. Next to the parking lot. There you go. Okay. Okay, good. Very good. And the swimming pool is in Maple Street. Good. In that case, it's also on. Porque ahí si tú estás en la piscina, ahí si es, I am in the swimming pool. Porque tú estás ah, dentro de la piscina. Ah, esto es... Siempre esto, como está sobre la es calle ahí, Maple, ahí. on. The swimming pool is on Maple Street. Let's see the next one. Okay. The bookstore is in front of the parking lot. And next, te comiste la té ahí, and next to the Chinese restaurant. And between the bus stop and the Chinese restaurant and on the corner of Maple Street and Main Street. Okay, I will take this one, this one as an example, okay? The music store is between the payphone and the, and the newsstand and in front of parking lot in David Street. The swimming pool is in front of the park and behind the grocery store and next to the drugstore. Okay, vamos a tomar estas tres de Edwin para el ejemplo. Let's go and see. It's like Edwin va a ser mi ejemplo. Let's see. I have it right here. Check it out. Okay, wait, 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 wait. I have more, more examples. Jose says, the travel agent is on David Street in front of grocery store. The bookstore is on the corner across from Maples. Okay, también vamos a hablar a Jose de ejemplo. Joana, the music store is between the bank and the news stand. In front of the movie theater on David Street. Okay. Let me see. I am going to take the first one, Edwin, as an example. And here we go. Here we go. I have a Edwin as the example. <clears throat> what we have here, and I am going to move it a little bit down. Okay. Right. Here we go. So, the corrections that I am going to do, pay attention, okay? Igual, Edwin, tú pon atención y vas corrigiendo también en tu cuaderno. Here, we have the bookstore, and I will copy it right here. Voy a copiar solo la primera. Estas dos no. Ni este punto. Okay, and I will correct this one. Te voy a corregir esta aquí. En otro color. And it says, the bookstore, bookstore is only one word. The bookstore is in front of the parking lot. And next 
to the Chinese restaurant. Aquí no podemos decir in between. Aquí tendríamos que ponerle un punto y explicar. It is, okay. it is between the bus stop. Si aquí especificas en the bus stop and the Chinese restaurant. Coma, on the corner of Maple, es un nombre propio, Maple Street en, y aquí no porque Main es el nombre de la calle. Si se fijan, como tienen el nombre de las calles, no le pongo eh, da. Ok, there you go. And here you have Main Street. Ok, that will be the correct eh, form of this one. The next yeah. one. Oh, excellent. The music store is between the payphone and the newsstand. The music store is between the payphone and the news stand. It is in front of the parking lot in David's Street. Okay, there you go. Number three, number three, the swimming pool, the swimming pool, the, point, the swimming pool is in front of the park and behind, no, no, no. So you say and behind the grocery store. The swimming pool is in front of the park and behind the grocery store. Y aquí, si vamos a hacer otra definición, ponemos punto y seguido. It is, cuando decimos it is, ese it se refiere al lugar del que estás hablando, right? It is next to next to the, siempre, drugstore, next to the drugstore, and uh, next to the drugstore, and the main street. No podemos decir que está cerca de la farmacia y la calle, porque no podemos decir que está en la calle. It is next to the drugstore, and, por ponerte una cosa, le vamos a poner aquí, in the bank. Y aquí sí puedes poner la calle y si quieres especificarla decís on main, ok, on main street. Y ahí sí al final le puedes poner. Está cerca de la, de la farmacia y el banco, en la calle principal. Ahí sí. It is next to the drugstore and the bank on main street. That's the definition. Check the three of them and correct them, ¿ok? Vamos a ir a traer otras, por ejemplo. ¿Ya las corregiste, Edwin? Y para los demás pueden ir agarrando el ejemplo de lo que les falta en las suyas, ¿ok? Let's go with the next one. I am going to bring... I am going... Los puntos y comas. Ajá, y el uso de da. ¿Ok? El uso de la de da. Esto es bien importante. A lo único que no le ponemos da... Al principio es cuando este cuando tiene un nombre propio. Pero si no es nombre propio, si es de pharmacy, de hospital, de park, de hotel, de church, de restaurant, anything. Okay. But if you have, for ah, example, sí. Pizza Hut, you don't say the Pizza Hut. Porque eso es como los ejemplos que hacemos en español. La Nati, la Joana, el Edwin. That's not correct. Okay. 
si ya es un nombre propio, no le ponemos da. Hay casos específicos, vea. Pero en, esto, en este, no. The music store is between the bank and, y miren aquí, eso es lo único que le falta. And the newsstand in front of the movie theater on David Street. ¿Ok? Esa es la de Joana. Solo le faltaba, nos da. In front of the movie theater, in front of the newsstand. Let's go with Jose. I am going to check yours. Here. Jose. It says, the travel agent is on David Street in front, in front, la NT, in front of the grocery store. Period. Right? Punto. The bookstore is on the corner of, siempre, on the corner of, in, on the corner of across from Maples Street. En este caso, José, decimos on the corner of y decimos las dos calles. On the corner of, you say Maple and Main Street. On the corner of Maple and Main, porque ahí se unen las dos. Okay? The park is in front. Aquí no juega el spelling. In front of the park is in front of, y aquí nos falta, the swimming pool. Okay? So those are the details. A veces son detallitos, pero les pueden eh, arruinar sus oraciones. The Italian restaurant is on the main street. Ahí main street es el nombre propio. No podemos decir the main street. Ahí le quitamos el da. On main street. The music store is in front of the movie theater. Okay? Ahí vamos a agarrar. The parking lot is very big and it is in front of the bookstore. Good. Leticia, the Italian restaurant is next to the office. Ok. Con las de Leticia las voy a agarrar y vamos a ver otro tipo de corrección que es bien importante. Look at this. Teacher, las mías estaban bien. I am, I am going on, on you. Ok, ya voy con Cristian, que ahí le tenemos que hacer más cambios. Okay. El check on Leticia. Leticia González. La oración puede estar correcta, pero en inglés, it's very important. La mayúscula al principio. The parking lot is very big and it is in front of the bookstore. Y el punto. Important. <coughs> Aquí, the Italian restaurant. Mayúscula. Italian es nacionalidad. Siempre va con mayúscula. The Italian restaurant is next to. Y aquí obviamente nos falta. The post office. Is next to the post office. Y punto. Ay. Aquí lo mismo. The bookstore is on the side of the park. Period. On the side significa lo mismo que next to. On the side of the park. There you have. Right? Those examples are good. So let me please change those. Tatiana. Aha. Tatiana, Chinese nationality. Necesitamos mayúscula. The Chinese restaurant is on Maple Street between the bank and the bookstore in front of the grocery store. De la número uno, Tatiana, solo Chinese, mayúscula. De la número dos, the newsstand is on David Street in front of the movie theater next to the music store. Perfect. Number three, the park is on Maple Street next to the bus, the bus stop in front of the swimming pool. Perfect. Great job, Tatiana. Your sentences are perfect. Only Chinese. Let's change that one. Vamos con Christian. It says. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. Qué mal va la teacher. No, y yo lo hago para que se den cuenta. Y me gusta revisarlo, aunque nos tome un poquito de tiempo. Pero sirve para que ustedes se den cuenta de los, de los errores. Y no los volvamos a cometer. Right? The Italian restaurant. Italian. capital. The Italian restaurant. Is no. On. It's on. Y aquí Main es el nombre de la calle. No le podemos poner the main. On Main Street. The music store, only one, is in front of the movie theater. 
The bank is next to. Next to. De, y aquí Chinese es nacionalidad. Todos los países las nacionalidades van con mayúscula. Y los nombres propios. Next to the Chinese restaurant. Ok, Christian, there you go. Let okay. me see. ¿A quién me falta revisarle? Ya revisé a Leticia, revisé a Cristian, a Tatiana, a José, a Joana, a Edwin y a Antonio, que ya le había revisado por primero. Someone else? ¿Quién me falta? Chicos, no pierdan la oportunidad de que les corrija. Yo todavía estoy haciendo las niñas. Ok, 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 don't worry. Cuando las tenga, me las mando. So, those are the definitions, right? Those are the definitions. It is very important, people, to check and correct. It is very necessary. It is always necessary to check and correct. So here I go, and I am going to go with the, let me see, oh, here it is, the manual. Okay, so here we have the manual. And as you can see, the first part is a map. What sentences can you create from the map? In this one, I, it's, you are going to see it in a moment. Ya lo van a ver. You will see it in a bit. Lo van a ver en unos segunditos, ya lo ven. So there you have. What definitions could you create from this map? Oh, I have one on the chat. Okay, let me see. ¿Quién me las envió al chat? Chat the WhatsApp. Lo siento, yo estoy ocupada, mi amor. Let's see. Here I go. I mean, I will check the one on WhatsApp. And it says the travel agent is on David Street in front, right? Mi familia yo me la mando al chat también. The bookstore is on the corner of. Ah, this is Jose. The park is in front of the swimming pool. Ya se las había revisado. So, in this one, if I ask you, people, where is the bank? Where is the bank? Where is the bank? What definition can you give me? ¿Cómo me explicarían dónde está el banco? Where is the bank? Is between, the behind. The bank is? The corner. On the corner. On the corner. On the corner of. On Barrio Strip. On and Barrio Strip. Uh, uh, first Avenue. First, well, no. First. First Avenue. Okay, so you say the bank. Avenue, no. Avenue. Avenue. The bank oh, yeah. is on the corner, on the corner of First Avenue. Ahí el orden de los tomates no altera el guacamole, puede poner la, la calle y después la avenida, no importa. En Barrios Street. And there you have. The bank is, here you have, the bank is on the corner of First Avenue and Barrios Street. That's it. Where is the, where is the Arrows Company? Where is the Arrows Company? The Arrows Company is 
between the restaurant and the book world. Very good. It's between the restaurant and book world. Where is the city hall? Where is the city hall? The city hall. The city hall is in front of the park. On which street? Uh, it is. It is next to the church. Next to the church. ¿En qué calle? Um, on second. En second, ah, en second on Avenue. Second Avenue. On, on porque está en on. esa calle. On Second Avenue. Ok, let's see. <clears throat> eh, Alma me acaba de enviar sus, sus oraciones. The grocery store is on Maple Street. The music store is between the newsstand and the bank. The movie theater. The movie theater is in front of the grocery store. Good. Ahí le mando la corrections. Good. Where is Sports Palace? Sports Palace, that's the name. Sports Palace. So you don't say the Sports Palace. You say Sports Palace is... Sport Palace is between bank and school on Barrio Street. Okay, Sports Palace is between the bank and the school on Barrio Street. Excellent job, Joanna. Da, da, remember. Where is the restaurant? Where is the restaurant? The restaurant is... The restaurant the is... Of Roosevelt Street. Uh -huh. The restaurant is on the corner of Roosevelt Street and, and First Avenue. First Avenue, right? The restaurant is on the corner of Roosevelt Street and First Avenue. Great job. Very good job. Okay, here it's on the corner, right? What is the park? Where is the park? Where is the park, people? ¿En qué parte de la ciudad? In the middle. In the middle, but in the city, you say in the... ¿Cómo se llama la venta de ropa? Shopping what? Center. It's in the center of the city, right? It's in the center in the center of the city. Now you know why it's called shopping center. Es el centro de compras. That's it, right? It's in the center of the city, right? There you go. It's in the center of the city. Across from the mall, you can say. Across from the mall. Al cruzarse el super el 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 centro comercial. It's across from the mall. So there you have. Which street is the restaurant on? Which street is the restaurant on? Street. Which street is the restaurant on? The restaurant. Which street is the restaurant on? Uh, Roosevelt Street. Ajá, ¿cómo me lo diría en una oración completa? The restaurant is on... The restaurant is on Roosevelt Street. Perfect job, right? The restaurant is on Roosevelt Street. 
Which street is the city hall on? Which street is the city hall on? Mm -hmm. The city hall is on Second Avenue. On Second Avenue and Roosevelt, right? Very good. And the last question: Which street is the park on? The park. Aquí tienen para escoger. Which street is the park on? You have all of them. Barrios, first, second, Roosevelt. Which one? The park is on First Avenue and Second Avenue. First Avenue and Second Avenue and Roosevelt and Barrios. <laughs> you have the four streets, right? Let's see. I will go here. This is what we have been talking, right? At, in, and on. What I was explaining to you, right? On Fourth Avenue, on the corner, on the street, in El Salvador, in San Salvador, in the park, in the neighborhood, at the meeting room, at work, at the bank. Okay. The first example that we have here, I work in the bank. That is First Avenue. What do you miss there? I work in the bank. That is. ¿Qué falta aquí? On. Exactly on. that, right? It, it's missing on. I work in the bank that is on First Avenue. Their factory is located. You're talking about a place, in, adentro de un lugar. In, in. in La Libertad, very good. The factory is located in La Libertad. We see you. En un lugar específico. We see you. Con lugares que ocupamos. Un lugar específico dentro de algo. At the training room or at the cafeteria. Ana works in the company that is un lugar. In town. In town. My relatives go to the mall that is Roosevelt Street. On. On Roosevelt Street. Very good. The next one. Tell him that we are with everybody. Aquí ya le habían puesto la respuesta. Guac. Gracias al que hizo el manual que nos puso la respuesta justo aquí. Tell him that we are at the meeting room with everybody. Thank you very much for that. Ya teníamos uh, respuesta ahí. Punto para todo. At the meeting room with everybody. Gracias al que nos hizo el manual que nos puso ahí. ¿verdad? Para evitar la fatiga. Let's go. <clears throat> right here. Let's continue. Uh, create your own map. Ya lo hicimos ayer. Create your own map. We did it already. And role plays explaining the places. Perfect, La right? Teta. Si me explicaran el lugar donde ustedes viven. Donde queda. Como lo explican. Is in Sonsonate, in Santa Ana, eh, on 
Which neighborhood? How would you explain that one? How will you do it? Okay, you are not going to do this in camera, but I am going to explain it to you. Okay, how will you explain where you live and everything? Let me stop sharing this. And I am going to go with my whiteboard. Right here. I am going to invent one. Okay, I'm going to invent one. So you say, my house, my house is in San Salvador on, uh, let's see, on, uh, what is the name of the street? On Guatemala, I will say. Neighborhood. My house is in San Salvador in Guatemala a neighborhood on uh, Main Street. Okay, just to give you one example. Okay, my house is in San Salvador in Guatemala neighborhood on Main Street. That would be one of them. Or you can say, my house is in La Libertad on 2nd Avenue, for example. Or on 24th Street, something like that. How would you create the place where you live? ¿Cómo explicarían dónde viven? Or you can say, I live in San Salvador uh, near the center of the city. It's just one explanation. And you can say, yeah. O si viven, por ejemplo, en tal ciudad, cerca del parque, cerca de la iglesia, you can explain it like that as well. How would you explain it? How me lo explicarían? Ajá. In a simple explanation, how would you do it? ¿Cómo lo hacen? Una explicación sencilla. Let's see. I am losing my internet. I am back. Hey, estos simulacros de examen de lunes no me gustan. Y así le hackeo la compu a la teacher. Mira cómo se sale. Ajá, ajá. Pues siempre vuelvo, como el ave fénix. Gracias aquí públicamente a mi proveedor de internet. Ya ve que desde ya está fallando. Ajá. Ajá, y usted ahí enviándome un virus ahí en las oraciones. <risas> Ajá, revisa la mía, teacher, revisa la mía. Ajá. Good, good, good. So. Ahí va, ahí va. Ajá, ya vi. How would you explain where do you live? How would you explain that? ¿Cómo me explican? Sí, eh... A ver si está correcta. Uh -huh. I live on the main street of San Pedro del Marco near a bakery. Very good. Excellent. Nice. So I know when I go to San Pedro del Marco, I will go to the main street and I will look for the bakery. Okay. Good job, Christian. Very nice. Give me another definition. 
where do you live? How would you give me that explanation? Teacher, how do you say Asia? Uh, towards, 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 and I'm going to send it on the chat. Aquí se lo mando al chat. Towards. Yeah, how do you say alrededor? Around. Around. Entonces sería, my house is in La Paz, in El Salvador, a strip to, toward the, the Costa del Sol. Okay, nice. So a street towards Costa del Sol. So you live on this area right here. Okay, very good. Do you go to the beach a lot? ¿Vas seguido a la playa o no? Eh, so, so. <laughs> so, so. Very good. Any other example? Tati, go ahead. La veo con ganas de compartir su ejemplo. Y después Leti, que I, sé que ya lo tiene. My house is in Rafael Obrajuelo. Next to the school. Okay, in San Rafael Orajuelo, next to the school. You see, you don't get lost. Van a San Jose Orajuelo y ahí está. A la par de la escuela. Tate. There you go. Okay, Ilse tiene el mismo proveedor de internet que yo, miren. Ya la vi. No vamos a decir nada, pero comienza con T. There you go, Leticia. Go ahead. No diré Let's... nada porque se van a dar cuenta los de claro que de ellos está hablando. No, it's not claro. I wish. I wish I had claro. But no. <laughs> okay, Leticia. My house is in San Luis Talpa. <laughs> ya, ya no sé qué más decir, no lo había terminado todavía. <clears throat> in San Luis Talpa, next to what? ¿Qué hay ahí cerca de tu casa? Uh, el okay, next to the gym. So you say, or near the gym. Nice. Good job. Antonio, where is your house? From around? En los alrededores de qué? De, de la ciudad. Ok. Si ya, yeah, pero si me pone, yo vivo en. ¿Dónde? ¿San Juan? Ajá, no, no, a, no. A ¿Cómo se llama? ¿Del lugar donde vives? Espíritu eh, Santo. No, no, no. La, la ciudad. Santiago, no Alco. Santiago, no Alco. Ajá. Si me dicen, yo vivo ahí, around the city of Santiago, no Alco. Te, te tienes que cruzar toda la ciudad para encontrarte, vea. Conoce a Antonio, conoce a Antonio, Antonio, don Antonio, no Antonio José, ah, don Antonio José, no, a me, me he hecho todo Santiago no, no algo buscando. So you say, <clears throat> if you want to be specific, near the park, near the church, near the school, okay, cerca de algo conocido de la ciudad. Si me decís, ahí, por, por ahí de la ciudad. Me dan las 5 de la tarde buscando la casa y, y nada que te encontramos. Ajá. Arribita de la Palma, José Antonio. ¿Ah? Arribita de la Palma, diga. Arribita de la Palma. Ahí por unos palos. ¿Cómo hay? Alma Dalila, tell me. Ahí por un palo de mango. Eh. eh. Pupusogramo. Next to the pupusas place. Or the pupusas center. Ah, siempre así como se escucha, pupusas center. The pupusas center, ajá. Uh -huh. Okay. Thank you, You live in Oloquilta. Where do you live? So, we're going to wait to see. 
Por eso Alma siempre tiene las pupusas ahí a la mano. Sí, solo tengo una pregunta, teacher. ¿Ah? Eh, para poner... Eh, ¿Carretera? On the road to... On the road to... On the road to... Y ahí le ponemos on the road to Santa Ana, on the road to San Salvador, on the road to Armenia, en la carretera A o Asia. Ah, ok. Y para poner cerca de... Near. Ah, ah pues no estaba muy equivocada porque sí había puesto near. Ok. Pero lo puso antes del there. Okay, you can send send me the information. Check it there and send it to me. So, continuing here. Mientras las terminan y me las mandan. Ah, okay, ya la tiene. Vamos, vamos. Uh, my house is on the road to San Salvador. Nejapa. Eh, no sé cómo se escribe. No sé cómo se pronuncia. Mm, municipio. On Nehapa City, sí. On Nehapa City. Nehapa City, near the sports center. Ajá. Uh, Usa center. Ne okay, hey, nice. You live in Nehapa. I, you know, when I when I come from Santa Ana, from uh, when I go and visit my mother, I like to uh, to go by Nehapa and buy pupusas there in the pupusodrome. So, one day I was like, Alma. <laughs> Where are you? Near the pupusodromo. The pupusas in Nehapa are very good. So, like for that. So, you live near the sports center and the pupusodromo. Okay. And Edwin Steven, do you live there as well? Por ahí vives tú también? No. No? Ah. ¿Y, de, ¿Y de quién eras vecino tú? De la... No. Eso solo fue... Ay, ah, was a joke. Hey, come on. Yo bien creído que eran vecinos. Hey, hombre. Come on. So, but it's the, at least I, I will believe. Seguiré creyendo en la humanidad. Let's practice the conversation. Hello. Can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Don't worry. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? Um, there are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye-bye. Okay. Hello, can you help me? This is the this is the good definition of the ch -ch -ch in El Salvador. Hello, can you help me? In the United States, right? Here in El Salvador is like ch -ch -ch. where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here, it says. Don't worry, there are four buildings. Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. Mm, I know it. It's down the street on the left side. What is your left hand and your right hand? No hay ninguno que sea zurdo aquí, ¿verdad? ¿No? José, ¿es zurdo? No. Sí. Ok. También. Antonio también. Hey, nunca me había pasado también. tener dos en clase. Ok. Entonces no va a haber el ejemplo con ustedes. The left es su mano buena, ¿verdad? Left. La izquierda es su mano con que escriben, para su ejemplo. Y para todos los que somos derechos, the right hand is the one that you use for writing. Right with the right. Right and left. Right and left. Derecha, izquierda. Para los zurdos, izquierda, derecha. Ok. So... That's good. La mano con la que escriben, ¿verdad? Si son derechos, the right. Si son zurdos, the left. Okay? So, that's for you to think about it. Y si escribo con las dos, teacher, 
Okay, that's a problem. Left and right. What is your right hand? Show me your right hand. Muéstrenme su mano derecha. Right, right hand. Usted le va a salir al otro lado. Acá va, está bien. Right hand. Left hand. Left, left, left. Good, good, good. Very good. It y says... The same, yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think that that's your good side, right? Creo que es el pie dominante, pero el, el, el nombre es el mismo. Aunque sea uno el bueno y el otro no. Porque aquí, a los que son zurdos, pues su mano dominante es la izquierda. Left. Y con ese escriben. Pero los que somos derechos, escribimos con la derecha. So you say, we write with the right. Y ahí ve el ejemplo, ¿verdad? Que escribimos con la derecha. We write with the right. And the other one, it's the left. Okay. ¿Cómo se escribe eh, derecha? Okay, I'm going to do it right now. Ahorita se los escribo en el chat. Okay, right is derecha. Y left is izquierda. Right and left, right and left, right and left, right, left. Si no le voy a hacer como los niños que le voy a escribir un, una letrita en la mano. Right and left. So here we go. A, a girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side, right? It's on the left side, a la izquierda. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Bye-bye. Okay. Those are. Practice with me. Hello. Can you help me? Hello. 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 Can you help me? Hello. Can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? Where, where is the Melbourne? Where is the Melbourne building? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. I don't live here. Don't worry, there are four buildings. Don't worry. Which one do you need? Which one do you need? A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. A girl, A girl told me to go to the building on Main Street. Building, building. Building. Tell me, Alma Dalila. Oh, perdón, teacher. Eh, se me fue la señal totalmente. Acabo de volver a entrar. Ok, ya vi que tiene el mismo proveedor de internet que yo. <risa> ok. Porque tiran piedras. <risa> yeah, that's good. The same, the same. Ok, so don't worry. We are practicing the conversation. I know, I know it. It's down the street on the left side. I don't know. I don't know. Thanks. Thanks. I have to ask you something else. I have to ask you something else. Is there a training center? Is there a training center? Is there a training center? There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. There are a lot of training centers on the building between the building between Main and King Street. A lot of there are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. Vamos. 
They are a lot of training center of the building between main and in street. I have some interviews there. I have some interviews there. Thank you again. Thank you again. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay, so I need Antonio and Tatiana, help me. Hello, can you help me? Where is the radio uh, building? I don't live here. Okay, don't worry. Pausa, pausa. If you say, hello, can you help me? Where is the mailroom building? I don't live here. Esos son los aliens que nos van a venir a visitar el lunes. Pero no. <laughs> you say, hello, can you help me? O sea, primero pregunta si te pueden ayudar, ¿verdad? Hello, can you help me? Where is Melbourne building? I don't live here. O sea, yo no vivo aquí. Tengo que mostrar que no vivo aquí, ¿verdad? Right? Hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne building? I don't live here. Y la que le contesta no le dice, don't worry, there are four buildings. Which one do you need? So it's like, ahí me preocupara más en vez de no preocuparme, right? Don't worry, there are four buildings. Which one do you need? Amable, vea, lindos. A girl told me, ahí así en su conversación. Ok, aquí no ha pasado nada. Antonio, go ahead. Ok, no, al principio. Ok, aquí no ha pasado nada. Vamos, Antonio, help me with the conversation. Okay. Hello. Can you help me? There is no now problem. I don't live here. Don't worry. There are four buildings. Which one do you need? For so, uh, need to go to building on Main Street. I know it. It's down the street on the left side. Thanks. I have to ask if there's something else in the beautiful training center. There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. I have some interview, uh, interviews. 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 Yeah. Thank you again. Bye bye. And Tatiana said, bye. Okay, that's, bye. you see the difference? Did you see the difference? ¿Notaron la diferencia? Sí. It's, uh, it's totally different. Like, exactly like that. English is just like that, right? Hello, can you help me? Is there a building here? I don't live here. Que yo salgo yendo, yo no le ayudo. Adiós, nos vemos, vea. Si te vi, no me acuerdo, sorry. And you escape. Because it sounds horrible. So, good. Let's see. Alma Dalila y el vecino falso, Edwin. Teacher, ¿es en serio? Yes. Ok. Hola. Yes. Hello. Hello. Yes. Can you... Eh, ¿Puedo iniciar ya? Yes, go ahead. Es que a veces no se oye por eso. Pregunto. No, I, I can listen to you. Yeah. Ay, vecino, ya se me va a ir el internet. No, 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 no. Go ahead. Le paso, le paso la Hello. <laughs> Hello, can you heal me? Help me, help me. Help me. Where is the... No sé cómo se pronuncia eso. Melbourne, Melbourne. Melbourne. Melbourne, building. Melbourne. ¿Y la otra palabra? Building. Building. Ah, es Melbourne Building. Building, building. Building. I don't live here. Live. I don't live here. I don't live here. Ok, aquí no ha pasado nada. Oiga. Hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne Building? I don't live here. Ok, Alma, vamos. Ay, teacher. Go, 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 go. 
es que esta palabra por ser larga siento que me cuesta, pero lo voy a intentar. Teacher. Go ahead, I know you can do it. Yo sé que puedes. Gracias. Eh, he, hello, can you help me? Where is the Melbourne? Melbourne. Building? Building, very good. I don't live it here. Here, I don't live here. I don't live here. Mr. Edwin. Ah. <laughs> don't worry. There are four buildings. Buildings. Which one do you, building, which one do you need? Um, here. A girl. A girl. A girl told me. A girl to told me. A girl. A girl told me. Girl, así como con el, digamos, re. No, girl, girl. Girl. Vengan a la lengua. A girl told me. Girl told me to to go to go to the building on Manny Street Main 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 Street I know it is down the street on the left side Thank you I have to I you something? I have to ask you something. I have to ask you something else. I, I have, have to ask you to something else. You some else? Uh -huh. Is there? Is there a tra training? A Training center? There are. There are. Uh -huh. Mr. Edwin. Uh -huh. <laughs> Come on. Hey. <laughs> uh, there are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and Kine Street. Yeah. Uh -huh. I have some. I have some inter interviews. 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 Quítale la T. Interviews. Interviews. There. Thank you. Thank you. Again. Thank you. And gay okay, bye bye. Very good job, right? <clears throat> it was good. It was good, 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 good. Difficult, uh -huh, but not impossible. Definitely. Difficult, but not impossible. How many Melbourne buildings are there? How many? How many? How many? Uh, there are four. Excellent and complete answer. Good job. Thank you. There are four buildings. So ya sentía yo una que le decía complete answer. Y ya me la dio de un solo. Very good. Where is the building where Will wants to go located? Where is the building where Will wants to go located? Where is it located? Where is located? Ahí les puse la respuesta. Eh, 
It's down the street on the left side. It's down the street on the left side. Very good. And the last one, how many training centers are there? How many training centers are there? How many training centers? Uh -huh. How many training centers? Uh -huh. There you have the answer. How many training centers are there? On the building between? No, no, no. How many? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, the answer is how many training centers? How many siempre es cuantos? How many? Cuantos? How many training centers are there? Exactly, right? Hay muchos. There are a lot of. There are a lot of training centers. And where are they located? ¿Dónde están ubicados? En el centro. De... No. Ah, en el centro de Williamsburg. Ah. There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. Main and King Street. Very good job. There are a lot of training centers on the building between Main and King Street. Very good. So, here is about the conversation. This is what I explained you yesterday, right? Eso es lo que les explicaba el día de ayer. There is and there are, singulars and plurals. What are the examples? Who can help me with the examples of there is? Read the examples of there is. Help me with the examples of there is. There is an ATM across the street. Excellent. There is an ATM across the street. Ilse, go with the next one. There is um no sé cómo se pronuncia. Recruitment. Recruitment center. Centro de reclutamiento. There is a recruitment center. On the corner of Roosevelt Street and Fifth Avenue. Okay, there is a recruitment center on the corner of Roosevelt Street and First Avenue. El centro de reclutamiento, ¿qué es? Se han fijado en los call centers. Cuando dicen, ay, este, eh, vamos a estar entrevistando mañana, lleguense todos. Y llega un montón de gente a entrevista. ¿Por qué? Porque iban a reclutar a los nuevos trabajadores. La fábrica, por ejemplo, cuando dice... Hay algún opening, no sé qué, traigan su currículum. Uh, ahí está la gente haciendo una gran cola. Eso es el recruitment center, donde está el reclutamiento para el nuevo personal. And the last one, eh, Edwin, help me with the last one. There is no. There is, uh, there is no. No, here, here, here. There is no. There is no. Ajá. Uh -huh. There is no. Clothing factory. Ah, la tengo, la tengo que leer. Yes. Ah, no. This one. Lo siento, algo perdido. Ah, ya lo vi. Me, me descuidó. Algún mensaje le cayó al teléfono. Sí, <risa> no. No, no es eso. Ay, es que es mi abuela. Ah, ok. There is no. There is clothing factory around the corner. There is no clothing factory around the corner. Antonio, the first one of there are. Very good. Tatiana, the next one. There are some supermarkets 
on the right and left side of the street. Very good. And Alma, the last one. <laughs> There are no hospitalary hospitals um barrios free. Okay, very good job. Christian, help me with the first one. There is or there are. No, please, no. My connection again. So I can see, uh -huh. so I can see, uh -huh. you see, I asked Christian to help me and the internet disappeared. Uh -huh. I encontrado la causa. <laughs> you see, it is very curious that the, that the three times it has been like, Christian, help me. Y pum, se me cae el internet. Y yo, Christian, help me. Pum. Ah, Christian. Es pura casualidad. Ajá, y las risas no faltaron, vea. Ahí lo veo a todo riendo. Y saben que es lo más chistoso, que cuando vea el video voy a ver qué pasó mientras no estaba. <laughs> Ahí voy a ver los comentarios. Ya no, vamos, ya no vamos a seguir en el siguiente curso. Ajá, you will see. Because the recording continues, right? La, la grabación sigue. Y ustedes se siguen grabando, así que... Chan, chan, chan. Y ahí, ahí voy y me veo qué pasa cuando me sucede. Que yo no fui. Ajá, ajá. La más difícil. Ajá. Ay, sí, potes. Ok, let me share the screen again. O sea, si no querían hacer la oración, díganme, pues no, no me voten el internet. No, de veras que este internet está súper mal. ¿De qué sirven como los poderosísimos 8 megas? Creo yo que voy a decir, cuando yo tenga internet, digo, no diré nada, pero habrá señales. Gracias por el bullying. Sí, te digo que hubiera comprado una de esas tarjetas de raspar prepago. Así que hubiera salido mejor. Sí, chévere, a mí me tocó. Oh my god. El bullying. Ay, ay, directo. Oh my god. Es que si no, no iba a poder entrar a clase. Pero pues, me a la a teacher clase. me hace en bullying. La teacher. <ríe> oh my God. No, no, no. Y no, está no. grabado en cámara. I know, no, but it was just a coincidence. I was just mentioning. Pero ya ve que son mejores. Ya ve que son mejores. Por eso dije. ¿Y sí, por qué no se me cayó, teacher? You see, hubiera comprado mejor una de esas. Dije, y mire, cabal. Vea. La invita, ¿eh? la En invito. el rostro, así, vea. Mira, a mí no me cae, teacher. Mi poderosísima tarjeta. Aquí está. Yeah, I know, I know. That's so good. 
So, Christian, what is the example number one? Uh -huh. No, sigo, sigo, sigo conectado. Ajá, sí, <ríe> mentiroso. <ríe> Ajá. Oh. Marketing presentation. There is or there are? They are, no sé. Marketing presentation or marketing presentations? Is it singular or plural? It's singular, right? For singulars you use there is. In this case, you have marketing presentation. It's only one thing. It's singular. So in this case, what you are going to use is there is. There is. A. There is a. ¿Por qué? Porque decimos hay una. O un. Un o una. There is a marketing presentation across the street in the morning. Number two. ¿Qué dice la número dos? Business workshops. Who can help me with this one? There uh -huh. are. There are, right? There are business workshops down the street. Y aquí tenemos some. Entonces le podemos agregar. There are some business workshops down the street. ¿Qué le agregamos con eh, la palabra some? Es un quantifier. Quantifier means ¿cuántos hay? Some, a lot of, any, no. Esos son quantifiers, ¿ok? En este caso, cuando decimos there are some business workshops, right? Hay algunos. And that's how you make it, right? The next one. <clears throat> Recruitment centers. There. Recruitment centers. There are no. Ajá, uh -huh. there are no, porque es plural. There are no recruitment centers around my building. The next one, a store. No. A store, only one. There is no. There is no, right? There is no. There is no store on the corner of Roosevelt and Second. There is no. The next one, banks. There are. There are. There are banks behind the factory I work. The next one, Avanza, Aranza building. There is. There is. There is what? ¿Cuál sería la, 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 el que nos falta ahí? There is can we say there is a or there is an there is an an aranza building around the corner ¿Por qué pusimos an y no a Porque va con vocal. excellent job good job good job very good job so tell me where do you work I work in, Paint where do you, I work in, Haines Brand Inc. Haines Brand Inc. Where is it? Yeah. Where is it? Yeah. Donde esta? Where is it? Yeah. Yeah. Solo sería... The name of the city. There is, it is in, in what? Santa Ana. In Santa Ana? Really? Bueno, donde trabajo yo. Ah, okay. Eh, es carretera a Santa Ana, pero. Ah, okay. No está en, está en Opico. Ah, en eso. Ajá, está en Opico. No, no me mienta. Okay. Está en Opico. Yeah. Está, es, y eso está en el plantel de American Park? No. 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 ¿A dónde está? Casi por el desvío. 
Pero el de San Se llama Parque San Lee. Ah, San Lee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know, I know. Oh, okay. It is in San Juan o Pico, right? Okay, it's in La Libertad. Let's say. Todavía está en La Libertad. It's in La Libertad. And you, where do you work? I work in Haines, right? There you have. No les digo que me creen la conversación porque todos trabajan ahí, entonces, there's no problem, right? Tell me, where do you work? I work in Haines. Where is it? It's in La Libertad. And you, where do you work? Well, I work in a school. There you go. <clears throat> That's the conversation. So, just to wrap it up here, I know my internet again. It's, I am missing my connection. What are the things that you have in your company? What things do you have in your company? Okay, I, I am back. I was losing my connection. Here I go. On the explanation, what are the things that you have in the office? That is what they are talking about. There is a beautiful lobby. There are comfortable rooms. There is a huge parking lot. What is the meaning of huge? Enorme. Gigante. There is a huge parking lot. There are three high-tech elevators. High-tech son de alta tecnología. There is a beautiful lobby. El lobby es el área, el área de recibimiento, right? There are comfortable rooms. Son muy cómodos. Cuartos muy confortables, muy cómodos. There is a huge parking lot. There are three high-tech elevators. And what about Miss, Mrs. Aguilar? There is a narrow reception area. ¿Qué es narrow? Delgadito, chiquito. Que hay... Casi una persona puede pasar. There are two dirty dining rooms. What is the meaning of dirty? Dirty. Sucio. Sucio, right? There are two dirty dining rooms. It's like, I know, right? The next one. There is an ugly photocopy center. There is an ugly photocopy center. Uh-huh. And there are small offices. There are small offices. Offices. So, <clears throat> in this one, there is something specific on each of the sentences, and I want to mark it for you. Here, for example, when you say comfortable, huge, high tech, beautiful, narrow, dirty, ugly and small what are these they are describing how something looks right they are describing the next word for example there is a beautiful lobby yo les puedo decir que hay un lobby en la oficina pero si les digo que es beautiful entonces ustedes ya se hacen una imagen de cómo luce there is a beautiful lobby que es esto es un adjective The adjective gives you the idea of how something is. Okay? Imagínense que usted le cuenta a su amiga, ¿verdad? Ay, conocí a un chico. Ajá. ¿Cuál es la siguiente pregunta? ¿Cómo es? Ajá. ¿Y cómo es? I'm very handsome. Vale. Ah, ok. De mí no van a estar hablando. Van a hacer picha. <laughs> It is very handsome, right? Como cocolito. I was like, oh, really? Uh -huh. Todos tenemos una definición diferente de handsome, así que nadie critica a nadie. There is a beautiful lobby. Okay. Imagínense que yo solo les digo, ah, yeah, there is a lobby. No sabemos si es small, si es big, si es beautiful, dirty, ugly. But if I say, there is a beautiful lobby, there are comfortable rooms. 
you know, and you imagine the room and you say, hey, it's comfortable, it's nice, right? A comfortable room. There is a huge parking lot. It's a small parking lot. It's a medium-sized parking lot. It's a big parking lot. So you have the different forms, right? Pero si les digo que es huge, es enorme, right? There is a huge parking lot. There are three high-tech elevators. Desde el momento que les digo que son high-tech, que son de alta tecnología, usted entra y ya se imagina que el volado con miles de botones y luces y cosas. Pero si les digo, there are three old-fashioned elevators. Vale. Diga. <laughs> there are three old-fashioned elevators. Si les digo que son old-fashioned, de fasado, viejo, usted ve al vigilante ahí con una pita subiendo a la gente. But high tech, so they are high tech, right? A narrow reception area. Sí, estrechita la recepción. Two dirty dining rooms. Los comedores, hmm, super sucios. There are two dirty dining rooms. Como cuando abrían aquella feria, ¿cómo se llamaba? Consuma. Do you remember? Oh, really? I didn't know. Ah, yeah, but now it's Sifco, right? Something like that. No, pero ahora es más o menos ahí ordenada. Pero Consuma era un relajo. There is an ugly photocopy center. An ugly photocopy center. Una, una copiadora vieja, todo horrible, sucio, polvoso. An ugly photocopy center. There are small offices. Small offices. So these are adjectives. Adjectives. And this is going to be the final topic. Este va a ser nuestro último tema para el día de mañana. So if you can investigate a little bit about the adjectives, go ahead. That is going to be your final topic. So please. I need you to investigate a little bit about adjectives, okay? Le voy a dejar esa tarea, es el último tema, adjectives. To describe places and things. Adjectives, okay? That is going to be our final topic and it is here on the manual and the final things are just, uh, these are the prepositions of places that ya la vimos, ¿verdad? in front of, near, past, in front, between, behind. Esta ya se las expliqué, pero aquí están en el último tema del libro. Let me see. Yeah. The only one that, I, that we need, this is a review of the prepositions of place. Vamos a hacer la, re, la revisión de las prepositions of place y adjectives, okay? So we need to investigate that for tomorrow. Give me just a second to open the attendance, okay? Solo voy a tomarles unos segunditos para la lista. And then you can go to sleep, okay? ¿Qué van a investigar para mañana? Adjectives. Adjectives. Adjective. You are going to investigate about adjectives. What are the adjectives? How do you use them? What is the purpose? Examples, okay? I need examples for tomorrow as well. Not only like adjectives are to describe things. No, I need examples, okay? So that is going to be for tomorrow. Let me open the attendance. Solo déjenme abrir la asistencia que mi compu está más lenta que hacer qué. And we are going to leave, okay? So, chin, chin, chin. if not, I am going to call the attendance just like that, okay? Si no, le voy a pasar lista así nomás. Y después los pongo en el reporte. Just give me a second. Here's my pen. Okay. Yeah, it's taking forever. And here we go. Mr. Edwin Steven. Presente. José Reyes. Here, teacher. Antonio José. Tatiana Galeas. 
Present teacher. Alma Dalila. I am present teacher. Cristian Ramos. Present teacher. Ilse Marlene. Present teacher. Joana Durán. Present teacher. Leticia González. Present teacher. And Leticia Ortiz. Present teacher. And teacher Nati. Present. Okay, so please practice for tomorrow. Prepositions of place, the maps, and adjectives. That is going to be for our class tomorrow. Well, my dear students, if there is no question, we are going to stop here. And I am going to see you tomorrow for uh, the class. Remember to send me the picture of the progress, okay? Si no me han enviado la foto del progreso, me la pueden ir enviando ya para que la tengamos lista para mañana, okay? And if you have any question about the, the um, platform, let me know, okay? So have a good night, go to sleep, go to eat, Antonio. Go to eat your dinner. Ah, no, ya comió, Antonio, ya, o ya cenó temprano. So, yeah, Mr. José, you. lost with the aliens, I cannot see you. I'm going to see you tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> And there you go, you see? Have a good night, my dear students. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Take care. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, class. See you, see you. Bye, Mr. Edwin. Edwin. Ah, che, se acabó, se acabó. Abandonar, abandonar. Hey. <laughs> Cristian, delete otra vez. <laughs> everything ahora sí mi ley hoy no se corta nada <laughs> bye, bye bye my dear class bye, 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 <laughs> take bye, care bye bye Bye. <laughs>